Welcome back to Infigyan friends. In today's video, we are having one very interesting question from Math Olympiad Algebra. Equation is x square plus 5x over x minus 5 whole square equal to 24. We have to find out all possible solutions. So let's get started by considering our denominators same. So I can multiply our first term with x minus 5 whole square. Now I need to multiply in the denominator also by the same. Now it is x square overall plus 5x whole square divided by x minus 5 whole square. Right hand side is 24. Now I can add both the terms of the numerator x minus 5 whole square plus 5x whole square and denominator will be x minus 5 whole square equal to 24. Now I will apply a minus b whole square formula. So x square minus 10x plus 25 plus 5x whole square is 25x square divided by x minus 5 whole square. Right hand side is 24. Now I will expand x power 4 minus 10x cube plus 25x square plus 25x square divided by x minus 5 whole square and right hand side is 24. Our x cannot be equal to 5 for real solutions. Now I can consider addition of numerator terms. So 25x square plus 25x square, 50x square. So I can write x power 4 minus 10x cube plus 50x square divided by x minus 5 whole square. And right hand side is 24. Now I can take minus 10x square common. So I will be writing here x power 4 minus 10x square is common. So in bracket we can write x minus 5 divided by x minus 5 whole square. Right hand side is 24. Now I will split our numerator. I will write x power 4 over x minus 5 whole square minus 10 times x square x minus 5 divided by x minus 5 whole square and right hand side is 24. Now we can cancel x minus 5 with this power. So it is left x power 4 over x minus 5 whole square minus 10 times x square over x minus 5. Right hand side is 24. Now we can frame one quadratic equation. It will be x square over x minus 5 whole square minus 10 times x square over x minus 5 equal to 24. So this is one quadratic equation in x square over x minus 5. So let me write here x square over x minus 5 and then I will write whole square minus 10 times x square over x minus 5 
and minus 24 equal to 0. One quadratic equation, let us assume x square over x minus 5 equal to a. Now our equation will become a square minus 10a minus 24 equal to 0. Let us apply quadratic formula. So I will be writing a equal to as per formula it is minus b plus minus square root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Here capital A is the coefficient of small a square which is 1. Capital B will be the coefficient of a minus 10. Capital C is the constant term minus 24. Let's apply. So minus b it will be 10 plus minus the square root of b square minus 10 square 100 minus 4ac so plus 96 divided by 2a so 2. We can write 10 plus minus the square root 196 divided by 2. This is our a and a is x square over x minus 5. Let us write here a is equal to 10 plus minus the square root 196 is 14 divided by 2. So I can write 10 plus 14 over 2 and 10 minus 14 over 2. So it will become 24 over 2 and here we can write minus 4 over 2. So we have finally a equal to 12 and a equal to negative 2. Two values of a we have calculated. And a was our substitution x square over x minus 5. So I will be writing here x square over x minus 5 equal to 12 and negative 2. So x square divided by x minus 5 equal to 12. One equation. Another we can write x square over x minus 5, it will be equal to negative 2. Let's solve both one by one. I will write here x square over x minus 5 equal to 12. And here I will be writing x square over x minus 5 equal to negative 2. So I can cross multiply x square will be equal to 12x minus 60. Take all the term to LHS, x square minus 12x plus 60 equal to 0. Again we will use quadratic formula, x is equal to minus b. So minus of minus 12 plus 12 plus minus the square root of b square minus 12 square 1 4 4 minus 4ac minus 240 divided by 2a so 2. We can write 12 plus minus this value will be minus 96 divided by 2. Now we know that the square root of negative 1 is i. So I can write here 12 plus minus I will be here a square root 96, 16 times 6, so 4 the square root 6 divided by 2. So we will be having 6 plus minus i times 2 root 6, two complex solutions. Now we will take up second equation. Let's cross multiply x square will be equal to minus 2x plus 10. Now I will take all the term to one side. x square plus 2x minus 10 equal to 0. Again we will apply quadratic formula. Minus b 
minus 2 plus minus square root b square so 4 minus 4 ac so plus 40 we have to write divided by 2 a so 2 minus 2 plus minus square root 44 divided by 2 44 is 4 times 11 so we can write here 2 square root 11 divided by 2 so we will be having two real solutions minus 1 plus minus square root 11 so we have two real and two imaginary solutions let us write here x is equal to 6 plus minus i times 2 root 6 two complex solutions and two real solutions will be minus 1 plus minus square root 11 these are our final solutions this brings the end of this video friends do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck take care of yourself and bye bye